it's Emily from Science in a Van. Welcome to our second video of Squishy Circuits. Today we're going to show you how to use your conductor play-doh and your insulating play-doh to make some fun stuff. Start playing with a conductive plasticine. Now what I'm going to do is roll the piece out here. Take this piece and roll it out so we've got two like sausages. And now I'm going to take an LED. An LED is one of these little lights here. And it has two metal legs. And one is longer than the other. You need to remember the long leg is a positive leg. And the short leg is the negative. And if you look on the battery, it has a positive and negative. So this red cable is running out of a positive. So I'm going to plug it into there. And the black cable is running into the negative. Now plug it into there. And you can see that our LED, our light, has come on. So the positive charge is running through the red cable, through the conductive Play-Doh, through the LED, and then back round and through to the negative. So as the charge runs from the positive and around through our LED and back to the negative, it must be a complete circuit if we break that circuit at any point the light goes out but if we complete the circuit it comes on like so another thing that can be an issue is if what's carrying our current gets connected we get what's called a short and the charge can't run to the led so now we've got this short it's not working but if we open up the short it works again. To stop these two pits of plasticine touching each other and shorting, that's where your insulator can come in handy. So we're going to take the light out. We're going to move these two here. We're going to put this into the middle. Push that in there and that in there. And now we should hook this up like before. And the light comes on so the electricity can travel through like before through the conductive plasticine here up to the led lighting the led and running through but because this is an insulator it doesn't allow the electricity through we don't have to worry about shorting the circuit I love playing with Play-Doh, um, but sometimes people don't know what I'm making. Surprising. So what do you think I'm making here? Um, to be fair, it looks a little bit like I'm making a cake, some kind of dessert. What do you think I'm making? Oh, what's that? Are those wheels? Oh, yes, they are. Of course, it becomes so super clear. What a piece of art. I'm making a van. Enjoying this video? Please support us by liking, subscribing, and in the comments you can see where you can support us on Kofi as well. We appreciate it. So now it's time to make this van even more lifelike. <laughs> so let's add some headlights. I'm going to put the LED in first to try and complete the circuit. So I'm going to put the positive one in top and the negative cord from the battery at the bottom. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh. I needed the longer leg in the top. You need to have positive to positive, and that lights up. Um, it was so much fun playing around with this. And you can see when you don't get the LED in the correct way, it doesn't light up. So you just it's a good way to learn what's positive and negative and how the electricity flows around. With a fun circuit like this, you can sort out the difference between conductors and insulators. Conductors allow electricity through, insulators do not. Now we've got our circuit, we've got the positive feed running from our battery into some conductive Play-Doh. Goes through our LED into another ball of conductive Play-Doh. But there is a gap between the two, it's not a complete circuit. We've got some insulator Play-Doh in the middle so we need to complete the circuit and we can take something like this metal now we can lay this metal now down like so and if we look the light comes on because the metal now completes the circuit so the now 
is a conductor. But if we take something wooden, like this toothpick, and put it there, it doesn't let the electricity through, it doesn't complete the circuit, so that is an insulator. So we've sorted these two out. The wood is an insulator, the nail is a conductor. So, third material. We've got this feather here. I'm going to put the feather on and see what happens. But here's the thing, scientist. We have to make predictions. We have to make guesses. So can you predict if this is going to be an insulator or a conductor? Is it going to insulate, not let the electricity through? Or is it going to conduct and allow the electricity through? So is it an insulator or a conductor? Make your predictions. We're now going to test it out. From our observations, we can see the light has not come on. So we can work out if our prediction was right or wrong. It doesn't matter because we followed the scientific process of making a prediction, a guess, trying it out, testing it out, and we've made observations, we've looked at what's happened. And we now know that this is an insulator, the wooden toothpick is an insulator, but the now is a conductor. I hope you've really enjoyed this video all about squishy circuits. And if you're making your own wonderful squishy circuits, we would love you to comment and share your beautiful creations with us. And also, while you're here, why not subscribe?